Hello again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and today we are back with some more Disney Star Wars crossovers with a bonus, which is a Disney Star Wars, but kind of Disney, but kind of in the back side room past a few other rooms up and down a secret staircase. Anyway, we'll get to it in a second. So, what do we have? Well, this is kind of a hodgepodge. It's not... I wasn't able to find all the series, but we have... Um, well, Minnie Mouse's Slave Leia, which is just wrong, but uh, it's okay. We have uh, uh, Goofy as Chewie, another one that's kind of like a horse. We have Donald Duck as Darth Maul. We have uh, Donald Duck as a Stormtrooper. I'm going to look at the Darth Maul one. There might be... This is a sneak preview figure. So you know what? I think for this one, I'm going to keep this actually boxed, okay? Um, because I think I already did an... Uh, a, Dar a Donald one, so I'm going to keep that one boxed for safekeeping. Then we have, of course, Chippendale as Ewoks, and then we have some Muppets. Yes, Muppets also had a crossover series. This is Luke and Leia, but in the disguise of Kermit and Miss Piggy. So we will do all of these. This will be a quick one today, but um, as I said in previous episodes, I've been a big fan of the crossovers. I do recognize that they have stopped them temporarily maybe permanently, to maintain the the uh, character integrity is what I've been told is the, um, the term that I've been heard say multiple times. Okay, so, well, I will say that um, generally speaking, the way they have modeled Minnie Mouse, um, I think is fairly, uh, well, for the most part, I guess it's uh, acceptable, although it's just, you know, the idea of Mickey or Minnie being naked is just a weird thing because they're just, I guess it'd be black fur. So they're not really naked even if they're naked, so remember that. So um, Minnie Mouse has the, you know, it's sporting the, the bra, the, the shoes, the uh, draped um, kind of whatever apron that she has in the front, including the, the braid in the back and the hairband and stuff. So... Pretty nice likeness, and uh, but as far as articulation, just the arms kind of swivel. Seems like she can do, like, I don't know. Or she can walk like an Egyptian, I guess. We'll leave it at that, I think. Okay, hey, let's move on to Goofy as Chewbacca. Oh, oops, don't want to lose his Chewy bowcaster. Um... I like Chewie, to, you know, obviously playing all the tall characters. I think we've seen Chewie as um, Darth Vader. We've seen him as um, Jar Jar Binks. We've seen Chewie as Cad Bane from the Clone Wars. And now we are seeing him as Chewbacca. So that's cool. Now the trick is trying to figure out how to get him to hold his gun. That's a trick. Um, looks like you can kind of just shove it in there like that. The plastic is very bendy, so it's a little bit odd to hold it that way. It also looks like he's going to shoot his hand, but he won't be able to hold it, hold it like you know, like a normal thing. Although I guess, well, I'll leave it there for now. Um, and again, it's kind of nice. It's just it's mostly a Chewbacca body. Um, it doesn't even look like a costume. It looks like he actually wears the fur. So again, another dog animal with fur all over. So fur on fur. I'm sure that means he's uh, pretty hot. So, but that's okay. Let's talk Chip and Dale as the Ewoks. By the way, speaking of Darth Maul, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that uh, surprise cameo at the end of um, Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, pretty cool. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a smart move. I thought, in fact, in a lot of ways, it might have been the only move that one could have because... If they're talking about Jabba, they want to save Jabba for a potential either new, new next movie or some other type of thing. But um, it's kind of hard. Oh, these guys are cute. Oh, my goodness. They are very little, though. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we got to give one of them. It has to have the spear. So try to give him the spear. I'll put close-up shots in, in. You know, I'll insert the close-up shots. Like, So you'll get them. Come on, there. Okay, Chip, by the way. Disney trivia. Chip is the one with a nose that is black. You could say it looks like a chocolate chip. And that is why he is Chip. So there you go. Okay, so Dale is the one without 
the chocolate chip one, but rather with the other one. Okay, so now it looks like they are supposed to have... Okay, he's got his uh, little... Hmm. He's got his battering ram. Hmm. I'm going to try switching and give him the spear. Yeah, it looks like the spear fits chip a little bit better. There we go. There's your... And then I'm going to put the... I'm gonna kind of. I don't think I can. I don't think I can get this around his head. Can I? Looks like it comes like there's a. It comes with a. Eh. <laughs> oh. 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 I did get it. Yay. All right. Looks like the Chippendale also come with a. Uh, some type of a. Like water bucket or, like satchel, or something. So I'll give him that. Sorry, I dropped you. Didn't mean to. But it doesn't look like I can too much more than just put the club in his hand like that. And then Stormtrooper, which looks like this Stormtrooper helmet is essentially human size in comparison to Chipmunks, or at least mostly mostly in comparison to Chipmunks, which I thought was an interesting choice. I think there are other versions like this where they have him wearing the helmets. Okay, then we have Donald. Oh, there you go, guy. There you go. And, of course, Donald has the... My favorite thing about Donald is the helmet. Because the helmet, it actually has to be kind of... It's a clamshell. and has to actually fit on him. I have another one similar to this where he is actually in... He's actually... Um, oops. I just took off his arm. Sorry. Sorry, Donald. He's actually... Um, a clone trooper, but I think it's pretty much the same outfit. Okay, and then let's talk about the helmet here, okay. We have to pull it apart. <laughs> okay, this is a challenge. Oh, I think I got it. Always good to have a tool nearby. All right, we'll put this in here. Under his neck. Put this one here. Okay, and there you go, Donald Duck, Stormtrooper Donald, awesome. Okay, and then lastly on our shorter episode, we have the Kermit and Miss Piggy. I think this was like a later edition, Let's see if there's a year on here, yeah, 2011. Um, I think this went around for like one one time, and then that was, a, that was the last of it, so... the uh, rubber bandy parts here. Plus, he's got his gun. Come on, Kermit. Use the force. <laughs> there he goes. These things are, these rubber bandy things are interesting. Um, they actually work really well. There's some good life hacks that you can see using them. Because they like rubber bands, but they are in some ways stronger. Because you can't really pull them apart. Um, let's see if I can get the... Can I get him to hold his lightsaber? Oh, this is the... Looks like the... This is like the father's lightsaber. This is the one that had that whole journey in The, in the Force Awakens in The Last Jedi. And when we last left it is now in pieces. Okay, and then of course Leia. Now, we have seen Miss Piggy sporting the ever popular blonde uh, um, hair bun, cinnamon bun do in the Star Wars special on the Muppets. That uh, we, all, we saw a Luke Skywalker, and it was a spoiler because we saw him dressed in his Bespin fatigue that we weren't going to see until the next movie. So that was kind of a neat. Anybody who tuned into that and got a little bit of a spoiler. Isn't that cool? So I got to say, the, the, um, the Muppet characters, I think when they came out with those, at least when it comes to um, Miss Piggy and with Luke, they started improving the articulation the hands, the wrists, the elbows, the waists. And the head, they all move. So there's there's more parts of you know the, the legs and the legs move too. So the only thing that doesn't move on Kermit is the knees and the ankles. 
Same thing with Piggy. Um, well, Piggy's legs don't move. It's just the waist. But still, arms, elbows, wrists, head, waist. So, an improvement on the uh, points of articulation. So, again, just add them to the Disney collection. Um, a great, uh, a great addition. Sorry that they didn't keep making them to a point. I mean, maybe I'm not that sorry because it's nice in some ways to have a collection that's actually complete. Um, you know, of course, anything can be redone and it can be revisited, but it's nice to have these. So that'll do it for this shorter episode of Darth Tupa Star Wars Unboxing Show. Be sure to check out all my videos, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, spread the word, let people know about the channel, and uh, check out uh, on my, you know, my uh, Instagram and Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter feeds at Darth Tuba, as well as my Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook. And email me DarthTuba77 at gmail.com or leave comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much, and may the force be with you. Yeah!